All right, let's look at this question. A monochromatic light with wavelength uh, 500 nanometer strikes normally on a diffraction grating. Ah, so see the keyword here is diffraction grating. So again, this is not double slit, not single slit, but diffraction grating. So diffraction grating is in phase. Uh, it's in phase. Yeah? Remember that. Yeah? In previous video also, I'm talking about diffraction grating. It is in phase. Uh, when it is in phase, the formula is, um, you know, when, when it is in phase, the formula for bright fringe, bright fringe is using M lambda, okay? When in phase, bright fringe is using M lambda. So the formula is D sine theta equal to M lambda. Diffraction grating uh, does not have dark fringe, yeah? You only investigate bright fringe. The formula is D sine theta equal to M lambda. So, okay. So we already have the formula here, you see? d sine theta equal to n lambda because uh, we know that uh, for in phase for in phase sources to form bright fringe the in phase sources to form bright fringe the delta l is must use m lambda uh, m or n lah is the same yeah so d sine theta equal to n lambda All right now uh, it give us the wavelength here yeah this is the wavelength uh, if for produce fourth order ah see what is the order means order is the n or m uh, order you you already give you the fourth order it give you the num the value of the order already so uh, straight away just put n equal to four uh, this is the or fourth order bright fringe uh, fourth order bright fringe uh, this fourth order bright fringe as we know uh, this diffraction grating also follow uh, in terms of bright fringe it follow order also isn't it uh, it follow order so remember that yeah i did tell you uh, again and again uh, about the fringes the number and the order okay diffraction grating uh, the bright fringe is the the bright fringe always follow order and no matter what no matter it's double slit single slit or diffraction grating uh, the bright fringe, the bright fringe always follow the order. Always follow order. Actually, everything follow the order. Everything follow the order. Only the double slits dark fringe. Only the double slits dark fringe uh, plus one. Order plus one. All the rest uh, follow order. Uh, all the rest follow the order. Okay? Uh, so, only the double slit dark fringe plus order plus one. The rest uh, all follow order. So, uh, look at this one again. So, this one is a fourth order bright fringe, uh, bright line or bright fringe is the same. Uh, this fourth order bright fringe, uh, that means uh, bright fringe always follow order. Uh, bright fringe always follow order. Uh, so, this is also considered fourth bright fringe. Ah, follow order. Uh, this uh fourth order bright line or fourth order bright fringe is also the fourth bright fringe uh, n4 and uh, the order for bright fringe is also the fourth bright fringe okay uh so uh 30 degree uh 30 degree angle so it gives us the angle so here yeah this is the theta uh, and then find the number of slits per centimeter oh be careful this is centimeter a uh, per centimeter so that means you want the end. Huh? This one it asks us the about the end. But our end is in uh he want in uh per centimeter, not in per meter. He want in non SI unit. The answer one in non SI unit per centimeter. So be careful. Uh, so I will show you how to convert. Yeah, I will show you how to convert. Okay, so first of all, we already have the formula, okay. Uh, uh, the the diffusion grating bright fringe formula is d sine theta equal to n lambda. The n is equal to four fourth order bright fringe is n equal to four bright fringe theta equal to thirty lambda is uh, five hundred nanometer change to meter. Okay, now find the n. Now find the n. How to find the n? Uh, first find the d lah. Uh, or you want to change it to n also can. Never mind. Just find d first. So uh, what is the the question? Uh, what is the answer? So D sign, what is the theta? Theta is a uh, uh, 30 degree. Theta is 30 degree. Remember in ra uh, degree, uh, not radian. Uh, degree, not radian. Uh, this order is 4. So wavelength is 500 nanometer. Okay, emitter ready. 
So what is my D? Uh, so I'll calculate that my D is equal to my D is equal to uh, 4 exponent uh, negative 6. Uh, 4 exponent 4 exponent negative 6. Uh, negative 6 negative 6 meter. Okay, that's our D. Uh, that's our D, right? Uh, that's our D. So once we get our D, we can find our end. Uh, our end. Um, however, we want the number of slits per centimeter, isn't it? Number of slits per centimeter. So how to change to per centimeter? Maybe you can change over here or you want to change over here so can but uh, I prefer change from here yeah D you first change to centimeter this meter you change to centimeter first uh, then it's that easier yeah D you change to centimeter first okay one meter okay change to centi we need to add a centi there uh, we need to add a centi there uh, so what is mean by centi if you add a centi there that means if you add a centi, centi, uh, the worth is uh, negative 2, isn't it? If you add a centi there, centi is actually negative 2. Centi is actually negative 2. If you add a negative 2, you need to add a uh, positive 2. Uh, do you know that? Because it's like these two can be cancelled. These two can be like can be cancel, cancel, cancel. Understand that? Uh, this Two and negative two can be cancel cancel equal to uh, equal to one. Uh, so it back to it back to four exponent negative six meter. It back to the previous one. Yeah. Uh, what I mean is uh, I cancel. I can cancel this uh, exponent two with the centi. I can cancel these two. Uh, I can cancel two them. Uh, then become one. So it back to the value of. Uh, it back to the value of uh, 4 exponent negative 6 meter uh, though I should write I back to this value 4 exponent negative 6 uh, meter you see that it equal back to the previous one it equal back to the previous one 4 exponent negative 6 meter which is 4 exponent negative 6 meter ah, because I cancel this exponent 2 and exponent negative 2 I cancel become 1 but I don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel because I want to change actually. Actually, I want to change this meter into centimeter. So this is how I change. Uh, this is how I change. You see that? Uh, if I add a centi, I must add this. This. If I add the centi, if I add a centi means I add a negative 2. If you add a negative 2, you must add a positive 2. Then only you can cancel. You understand or not? Then only you can cancel. Uh, then only the value, this value, is equal to the one before. Uh, then, then, then only the, the value equal to the one before. If not, if you don't add this, if you don't add this, you just put, if you just put like, um, you just put a centimeter like that, then it's not equal, it's not equal to the one before. Understand or not? Uh, you must, so that's why you must add this one. Uh, then they can cancel, become 1, then they, they are equal to the value before. Okay, so I think that's enough. Okay, but I don't cancel actually. I want to make it meter, become centimeter, and that's how I do it. Okay, uh, so in the end, I will get the D in uh, 4 exponent uh, negative 4. Okay, uh, negative 6, negative 6 plus 2 become negative 4 centimeter ah i got in centimeter okay right now uh now i can change now i can find my n in unit per centimeter already because my d already in centimeter uh, that's how i do it uh, one over uh, d d is a uh, four exponent negative four centimeter uh, so uh, what's the answer then uh, one divide by that one uh, negative 4 per centimeter so how to get it um, so what's the answer yeah so I will get the answer in um, 2500 uh, lines per centimeter ah, I got it I, that's the answer or you can also write it as like uh, 2500 lines per centimeter uh, or you want to write it um, like that also can lah. Okay. 
200,000 lines per centimeter or what it means is uh, 2,100 2, lines uh, in one centimeter uh, in one centimeter uh, that's what it means so that's the answer all right uh, that's the answer uh, number of slits per centimeter that means that means uh, what I, what it means here is uh, in one cm uh, what it means here is if you have a diffusion grating okay if you have a diffusion grid um, if you have a diffusion grating with uh, how um, with um, one cm wide uh, one cm wide uh, one cm wide here you can find here you can find how many lines you can find 2500 lines uh, here i'm just managed to draw not more than uh, 20 line 30 line uh, but there are here there are uh, 2500 lines in just one centimeter you see that huh, 2500 lines compressed compressed in one centimeter uh, imagine imagine how small is it yeah and this is the this is the separation between the slit uh, in between the slit there's the separation uh, the separation between the slit is 4 exponent negative negative 4 centimeter it's very very small yeah in one centimeter you can find 2500 lines uh, that produce the diffusion the diffusion pattern uh, okay uh, that's what it means lah very 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 small line you cannot see with your eyes you cannot see with your eyes um you only can see the diffusion pattern yeah after you you uh, shine a laser light through the diffusion grating line you can see a diffusion pattern uh, that's what you can see but you cannot see the the slits uh, you cannot see the slits uh, in the diffusion grating the other way to uh to, to change the unit is you also can change directly you also can change directly um uh, let's say you get um the answer in uh, you uh, straight away uh, you want to change it directly also can uh, you want to do it so if you use um, uh, n equal to 1 over d which is in meter uh, you will get the answer uh, this one if you maintain this one in meter if you maintain in meter uh, you will get the answer in um, in per meter which is a uh, 2.5 uh, exponent 5 uh, per meter uh, per meter so how to change to per centimeter also very easy per, uh, per meter change to per centimeter how how very easy don't don't go to treat this as a meter uh. this is not meter this is per meter this negative sign is very important this negative one is very important per meter means the meter is below uh. per meter means the meter is below so 2.5 exponent uh, 5 per meter per one meter so how to change to centimeter uh, also do the same thing lah uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, one meter is uh, actually one meter uh, one meter is one meter lah one meter is one meter uh, but you want to add a centi centi is what centi is uh, centi uh, like the same thing you want to uh, yeah one meter you see that this is the one meter is the one meter isn't it uh, one meter is the one meter now you want to make the meter become centimeter that means you want to add a centi if you add a centi you must add a because centi the wave of centi is negative two uh, so you need, need to put a positive two there uh, you need to put a uh, you need to put a positive two ah then it's correct uh, because the centi uh, the centi here the centi here it means uh, negative 2 understand the centi here means negative 2 so you need to add a positive 2 uh, positive 2 uh, then only uh, they can cancel become the one meter back uh, become the one meter back okay so now uh, i maintain i don't cancel i maintain so in the end what's the answer okay in the end what's the answer so I have uh, one exponent two centimeter below. This exponent two go to the top. Uh, go to the top. What happened? Uh, go to the top. Become negative two. Become negative two. Uh, yeah. This exponent two go to the top. Become negative two. 
uh, and then centimeter centimeter go to the top become centimeter per centimeter uh, become per centimeter centimeter go centimeter go be above become per centimeter uh, so what's the final answer so the final answer become the final answer become uh, 2.5 exponent exponent uh, 5 minus 2 5 5 minus 2 you get 3 uh, you get 3 uh, per centimeter so this one it means uh, yeah uh, uh, x times exponent 3 so this is a uh, 2500 uh, uh, lines per centimeter exactly the same answer uh, exactly the same answer as before okay same answer uh, okay so you want to uh, change first you want to change the unit first uh, then only then you straight away get the correct answer or you want to maintain uh, and change the unit later also can both way can can be accepted yeah as long as you get the correct answer lah you use the correct steps and I not do step by step all right uh, that's the way yeah you get the same answer 2500 per centimeter this one also uh, 2500 per centimeter all right thank you uh, for watching these videos uh, hope you understand if anything you don't understand please leave a comment below yeah thank you for your time bye